Hey there, it's Neda. In this video, we're gonna draw a cute stylized face. These steps are not based on any specific rules by any means. This is just what I think can help us to draw a face. You can follow these steps using any drawing software that you're comfortable with. Let's dive in. First, I go to the view menu and select show grid. Here's my current guides and grid settings. I grab blob brush and adjust its settings to the smoothest. It helps me draw straight lines. I check merge only with selection to edit my drawing lines separately. If you're interested in learning more about the blob brush, I have a tutorial for that. I already have two layers, one for drawing guidelines and one for the face outline. I'm gonna switch between these two layers during the drawing process. I start by drawing a rectangle. Next, I divide it into six equal squares. Here we have the eyebrow line. This is the nose line. I switch to the face outline layer and draw the top curve of the head. I draw a horizontal line between the eyebrow and nose line. I add another line between the eye and brow line. I also add vertical guides to help me draw the eyes. You can draw different eye shapes based on your preference. For this drawing, I like to draw cute big eyes. I draw guidelines to help me draw the eyebrows. They're a bit wider than the eyes. I draw guidelines for the nose from the inner corner of the eyes to the nose line. I divide the bottom squares into four equal sections horizontally. It helps me figure out where to draw the mouth and the chin. I do the same to draw the hairline. I draw a line from the outer corners of the eyes to the mouth line. This helps me to draw the jaw and chin outlines. I draw the ears between the eye and nose lines.
Now I finish drying the head curve. I also draw guidelines for the neck. A thinner neck makes my character look younger and cuter. At this point, I lock and hide the guidelines layer and lower the opacity of the face outline. I add a new layer to refine the outlines and add details. I grab blob brush and lower the brush smoothness to draw more accurate lines with more details. If you're interested in learning more about the blob brush, I have a tutorial for that. I'll add the link in the description. You can experiment with different hairstyles for your character. I like the sketch layer to add a new layer for a simple background. All color layers should be under the sketch layer so we can see the sketch while we color. I draw a circle, modify it and apply a gradient to it. I lock the background layer and add a new layer to color the hair. I draw a base shape and cut the extra parts with knife tool. I add a layer above the hair to color the ears, neck and shoulders and follow the same process. To add shadows, I right click on the shape and choose copy, then I paste it in front and change its color. I use the knife tool to shape the shadow. I add a new layer to color the face doing the same process. To add rosy cheeks, I right click on the face and choose copy. Then I paste it in front and change its color. I use the knife tool to shape the cheeks.
I draw base shapes and modify them to color the eyes. I copy and paste the shape in front and change its color. I use the knife and eraser tools to modify the shapes. I draw base shapes, modify them, and apply gradients to color the eyebrows and lips. I add a second layer above the face layer to color the hair. During the coloring, I switch between the hair layers. I add shadows and highlights to the hair and apply gradients to each part separately.
it's time to add details and highlights to the illustration and I use the blob brush to do this. If you're interested in learning more about the blob brush, I have a tutorial for that. I'll add the link in the description. Please don't forget to like and comment if this tutorial was helpful. See you in the next video.